Reds and Reds Friday night at Great American Ballpark. Cool moment pregame, a family affair. Giants starting pitcher Casey Kelly squaring off against his father, Pat Kelly, the Reds bench coach. And the Sun getting off to a bit of a slow start here in the bottom of the second. There's a runner in scoring position with Kurt Casale at the plate. Swing and a line drive into the gap in right center. That drops for a hit. Rounding third and scooting home is Tucker Barnhart. And the Reds take a 1-0 lead on a single by Kirk Casale. Well, how about that? One catcher drives in another. Yep. Ground ball right back up the middle. That's a base hit into center field. And for this point in time, Andrew McCutcheon does his job, and we are tied at one. It's their strike oh, recall. That's a good pitch. Yep. Checks the runner, lets it come plateward, and there's strike three call on the inside corner. How about D. Scalfani? At least seven innings and three straight starts, and he's not done. Broken bat, one hopper that Jeanette fights off and retires Hunter Pence. He will hand the ball off to his manager, and on to the mound comes Jared Hughes with runners at first and third and two out. Good matchup here because Irvin really likes to swing at the fastball. He's got good bat speed. Here's a high drive, hammered to center, and this one belongs to the ref. Philip Irvin straight away off of right-hander Ray Black. He rounds third and heads toward the promised land. And on a Philip Irvin leadoff home run here in the bottom of the 11th inning as they bounce up and down at home plate, the Reds have defeated the San Francisco Giants in 11 innings, 2-1. to one. Philip Irvin, his first career walk-off homer as the Reds take it 2-1 the final in 11. It snaps a four-game losing skid for Cincinnati. Anthony DiSclafani earns a no decision, pitching into the eighth, allowing just one run with five Ks. Kurt Casale, two hits and an RBI. Andrew McCutcheon, three for five with an RBI in the loss for San Francisco.